Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Gremlin and this is a Sons of the Forest quick guide. And so I wanted to quickly go over this particular craft site location and some ways to get off to a really good start in the game. And so first thing you want to do is go ahead and take care of Kelvin. Make sure to revive them. This is your AI companion and you're going to try to protect them and keep them alive at all costs since they can't attack or fight against enemies. Okay, welcome back Kelvin. So first thing we're going to send Kelvin to do since this pond has fish in it, I'm going to send Kelvin to get some fish and we'll just have them drop it right here. We're going to aggressively send them on their first task. Okay, now that Kelvin's all set, Next thing we're going to do is check all of these suitcases or briefcases, whatever you want to call these, and storage bins. So you could either tap these with a, with like an axe or you could hold E and open them up. And so also the item in your hand, if you hit G, it, it'll put it away. So make sure to just loot all of this stuff, grab everything. Okay. And so there's another one back here some flares um, and you saw I just collected a king oyster that one it's just something that spawns on the ground here it had a question mark next to it just because I haven't consumed it yet if you eat something that's bad it'll get like a red pac-man symbol if you eat something that's good it'll get a yellow pac-man symbol and so like you see how it has that yellow one so later down the line you know if you're running through the woods which ones to eat and which ones not to eat. Um, let's pop open the inventory now that we looted throughout this area we're gonna right click this Open the emergency pack. This has our axe, our GPS locator, our guidebook, and a lighter. And so uh, one thing I want to do quickly while we're in this menu is talk about hotkeys. You can add items to hotkeys that you might use and you need faster than having to go to this inventory. So for example, if I want to put this axe on my one hotkey, I just simply hit one and it's on the hotkey. And so we can put it away, tap one and it's out really quick. Also, if you wanna put things on your backpack, so you just right click it and you could add items to your backpack to, to access them pretty quickly as well. So my ax is already on there. Uh, my guidebook is on there, but let's say we want to add a flare to our backpack. So now the flare is there um, and we can close that out and I'll show you now if you hold I instead of tapping it you could quickly get to this item so say you don't want to add these to your hotkeys like uh, med uh, med items or energy bars things like that you could just do it here and quickly get to it and then maybe you save the hotkeys for weapons so right now we're gonna take uh, some pills and so let's let's take that med so this will slowly refill your health over time. You only need to take one at a time unless you get damaged. That will interrupt the heal. So if you eat something that's bad in the woods or if an enemy attacks you, um, the, the re-healing will, um, will, will stop. All right, let's go find some of this fish. So Kelvin already brought us some fish. You could eat these right, uh, um, right off the ground. They're, they're like sushi, I guess. It doesn't have any negative effects. Previously, when the game first came out, Kelvin would infinitely grab fish and you'd have a massive stack. So they've they've patched that, and so Kelvin doesn't do it nonstop now. You can send them to get more fish again, but yeah, they, they stop. Okay, next thing we're going to do is get some sticks. So, let's see, king oysters collected. So let's just eat it real quick, and I'll show you that symbol I was talking about before. So next time we see one, it should have a yellow symbol, you see? And now this plant... You see how it's not good? So next time we look at it, it's gonna have a red symbol. So let's collect those leaves. Leaves are good because you can make like leaf armor. You could use it to, to start fires. So we got two sticks. We got some leaves. Let's make this item real quick. All right, so gonna add two sticks. You're gonna use your tape and your knife. Combine this to make a spear. You could use this as a weapon or even as a fishing tool. So if you see fish in the water, you could, you, if you're fast enough, there we go. And so I, I just collected two fish really quickly. So you can hold those in, in your inventory. They do go rotten after a while. So you either need to make like a drying rack or 
cook them before they go rotten. Um, or eat them raw like I did before, some sushi, you know. Uh, so next up, take a peek at your, your GPS. We're going to eventually head to the, that green dot is on the map. Those locations generally have lots of goodies for you, um, at least in my experience so far. And so that particular one is going to be where, we, uh, where we're going to find a 3D printer. But before we go there, I want to do two quick things in this spot because there is a little bit more loot. And also keep in mind, each time you reload your save file, all of these storage bins and loot containers refill. So each time you load into the game, you could essentially reloot this stuff and you could even come back to this crash site or rebuild or build your base here and uh and get some loot each time so i want to go in here we're not going to actually do this cave because i would i would suggest having like more ranged weapons and armor before doing your first cave even like a bow or something like that but i want to go in here and collect some of these things because there's some loot right here at the entrance we have some watches there's some cloth there is some raw meat and so this will get you stocked up pretty pretty well let's take out your lighter real quick if you just go a little bit further we're not going to run into any enemies just yet but just right here there's there's a bunch of skulls and there's some rope and so rope is really helpful um, so you can use the skulls to craft craft like a club type weapon but the rope is really helpful. You can use it to make bone armor. You can use it uh, to make different furniture. And you could also use the, the rope for traps and, th and things like that. And so, all right, let's keep moving along. Next thing I want to do is I want to hit this bin right here. And then we're going to travel. Oh, wait, I got turned around. Okay, there it is. So right here. It's easy to miss if you, if you, uh, so this is like right next to the crash site. So if you, if you tap on your mouse wheel, it will zoom in on the map. And so this is so close to your crash site. Grab this right here before you leave. This is the stun baton. It runs off of batteries and it also has good melee damage. So you could stun people by holding left click and then you could bonk them. It does decent amount of damage too and you could block with it as well. All right, so we're going to take out our our GPS tracker, and let's get moving. Okay, so we've made it. You can see we're at the green dot here. It shows on both mini maps. And so a, a good thing about this location, you have running water, so you can go ahead and drink from here if you need to replenish. Uh, let's put this stuff away. Let's put your map away. You'll know you're at the right spot when you see this, this golf cart here. So you could either decide to set up shop, you know, out and around here since you have access to, you know, different berries, different types of uh, bushes and stuff. You have access to water. Let's go in here, though. You'll be safe. Don't worry about getting attacked or anything. And we're going to move down this way. All right. So here we are. This is the, the 3D printer room. That's also pretty close to that site. So we're going to go ahead and collect all of these arrows. Anything else on the shelves here? we got some batteries, some tape some resin ink, some wire, two different crates full of stuff, and some more resin ink over here. The nice thing is that this thing comes pre-filled with 850 uh, milliliters of resin, so you could already print a couple of things if you need to. Um, so we'll grab this book. Another nice thing about this spot is that it has a save point and a sleep location. So you could save and sleep right here and we, we can also print stuff. So what I want to do is the first thing I want to print is this, which is your flask. This is going to be super helpful, especially for caves or if you're not close to water. Uh, if it's the winter time, it, water becomes a little less accessible. So you usually get about like three drinks, I think, per flask. Okay, great. All right, we got the flask collected. Let's see what else we can make. Um, let's rotate through here. We'll take, yeah, let's, why don't we grab the mask too? We can use this to kind of try to blend in with cannibals if they show up and you don't want to actually engage. You might kind of confuse them if you, if you take out this mask and hold it up to your face. I don't use it that often, but you know, you might as well while we're here. Okay, sweet. So we got a mask. You simply just hold left click and it holds up to your face. All right, so we're going to put that away. And now at this point you could save and you don't necessarily need to sleep just yet. 
You can manage your sleep by looking at the bottom symbol or the, the right symbol. So the, the one that looks like the moon is the one that will tell you when you need to sleep. If you run out on that meter, you can always drink like an energy drink to refill that back up. Then the one that looks like a drumstick is your uh, is how hungry you are. The one with the drops is how thirsty you are. And then the other one with, is your strength. The blue bar below that is your energy bar. And so if you keep all of those stats full, you'll have more energy to sprint and fight and chop trees and do all those things. If you don't manage those things well enough, you won't have quite as much energy before you get fatigued. The red bar is your health. And then outside of the red bar is your armor. There are several different armor sets. And like I mentioned earlier, it's good to maybe have some armor. You could 3D print some things. You can make uh, leaf armor combining cloth and leaves. Or you can get hide armor with, I think it's cloth and animal hides. And so there's several different variations. You can make bone armor from cannibals. And so all of those things come into play. And I, I think armor is way more important in this game than it was in the original forest game. All right, so uh, next up we can you know, collect sticks. You could start making a fire. Oh look, there's Kelvin. So you could start building a base out here or go back to the crash site. Uh, but this is where I want to leave you off with your start. I hope this is helpful to you and I do appreciate you following along. So thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy that content. Take care.